What's up with it, Charles? E J O E Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. So you see what we are getting into. It's into another documentary. It's about schools that are under siege in South Africa. Matter of fact, what's it called again? The schools under siege in South Africa. I've had this for a minute, for like two months, and I'm finally getting into it. Let's check this out, all right? Very curious about it. It's like, what a coincidence, too. Somebody wanted me to react to this. So, I'm finally doing it right here, all right? Let's check this out, man. Schools under siege. Let's go. Let's enjoy this, all right, man? It's 24 minutes on, man. Let's enjoy this. Schools under siege. 2 p.m. Hanover Park, a violent neighborhood in the Cape Flats. In the Cape Flats. So this is in Cape Town. You know something I noticed with like a lot of documentaries I do? It takes place in Cape Town. Like real talk, it's crazy. Makes it seem like this the only city. All right, anyways, let's go back, all right? The sprawl of urban townships just outside of Cape Town, South Africa. We're on our way to a primary school. To get there, we're being escorted by locals, and they've had to ask gang leaders for permission for us wow. to drive through here. I'm, I'm weak, yo. That's straight up the hood if it's like that. Wow, that's crazy. Well, it's like that too out here in America, but it's just crazy because they're going to a school. Usually, like, whenever I hear about that, it's like if it's a camera, like a camera crew, it's... Well, I don't know. Going to school, that's crazy. I don't know if you guys have it out there. They got this thing called like a no-fly zone out here. So a lot of times, like a lot of times, like celebrities, whenever they go to different cities, they like end up giving a call. Like they call somebody just to make sure that they are like, it's all cool out there. All right. And that's just with celebrities right there. So like, for example, 2 chains. he got robbed uh, in Oakland. You know, I live in Sac too. He got robbed. All right? Man, hella rappers be getting robbed in the Bay Area. All right? Okay, we back. Uh, there's a police in front of us. Wow, this is crazy. What, what's happened? Uh, um, the police have shot the uh, uh, juvenile. <sighs> wow. We're told police responded to gunfire between two gangs and they've shot one of the gunmen, a 16-year-old. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think the gangs are going to retaliate? They are gone. Yes, sir. Because the police did shoot the yeah, guy. So They're going to attack you guys also. Yeah, it's going to be way more hostile. I wouldn't believe that. they really trying to spook them. We're heading deeper into Hanover Park. People here call themselves coloured. They're an ethnic mix of Asian, European and African, and they live mostly separated from the black community. That's crazy. We've arrived. Blomflay Primary. This is caught in the crossfire of a gang war. I'm told there are three gangs fighting to sell their drugs here. You're surrounded by gangs and their territories. Over there, you've got the Americans in that, in that housing sit just set back. Right in front of us, you've got the ghetto boys. And then the Americans again in those rows over there, away from us. And then over there, you've got the ghetto boys. The ghetto boys. Real talk, so I guess what, that's a gang and all that? How big is the gang out there? Because obviously, you know, they just showing like a certain area, but damn, how big is that crew though? A lot of these, the kids have done themselves. Imagine that being like your classroom exercise. All right, I got to say something. I'm about to go back to this. I want you guys to tell me. I really appreciate when people write me back and they give me their comments on what they watch. Let me know if stuff that, uh, if you've gone through this or if you know somebody that's gone through it. All right, let's watch this now. 
guys. Do you, make some posters so we can stop the gangs shooting at us. I'm told some young gunmen even wear school uniforms to hide amongst the pupils to fire on their rivals. Oh. Ratika Tagordian counsels troubled kids at the school. She's also lost her uncle and a cousin to gang violence. How often are the shootings happening? Shootings is now occurring daily. Daily? It's a daily thing. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night. And over box sounds like a war. The school's basically under siege, isn't it? So it's actually sad, it's sickening. Outside, she shows me bullet holes from a recent shootout and says they've trained the kids to dive on the floor when they hear gunfire. They started shooting, it was this gang, just across the road, that shot over the field. And then that gang retaliated, and the shots came. The bullet actually went over my head because I was standing just here. Wow. This is crazy. At schools? Wow. This is nuts. I would have never thought I would have been watching something like this. Shit. Hey, yo, we've got company. <laughs> How are you doing? You right? You good? You're looking very fresh. 11-year-old Marizan is one of the pupils Ratika counsels, and she's really worried about his recent behaviour. <laughs> What's he like? I like that Marazan you saw now. Yeah. We always tell him, be that Marazan. Don't be the angry Marazan. Don't be the arrogant Marazan. Mm. Look who it is. I find him inside, heading to class. What's this? A cultural image of South Africa, the Indian people. Is that your book? She's worried he'll end up in one of the gangs. She says he's super bright, but his behaviour is holding him back. It's hard to imagine growing up normal here. This gun battle was just a few streets from Marazan's home, witnessed by another young kid. I know that man. Mummy, I know that man. Nearly 2,500 have been murdered across the city so far this year. It's one of the deadliest periods on record. A lot of people here say most of the time the police don't even respond. Pause it real quick. All right, here, so check this out. Flint, Michigan. All right, that's one of the worst cities in the U.S. It was one of the worst cities probably for like three years straight. All right, it's Flint, Flint, uh, Flint, Michigan, right by, right by Detroit. If you guys haven't heard of Detroit before, that's where Eminem's from. All right, anyways, I watched a documentary on that. They show, I saw one where a cop ended up coming to some guy's house, and, and they're all like, you called the police. And he was like, yeah, I called you yesterday. So they showed up 24 hours later because there's not that many people on the police force. I want to know what's going on with Marazan, so I'm going to meet him at home after school. Kids have been killed. Nearly a thousand children have been murdered in the last five years. And like this year, uh, the statistics that we've got, the latest statistics we've got is 279 kids in a year. Let's see if he's here. Hold on, let's see what year this is real quick. I want to see what year this is. All right. It's November 2019. This is when this was made. All right. Hello. Here, How are you doing? You all right? Yes. Marazan's house is just around the corner from where the police shot that young gunman and where four gangs are fighting right now. The Americans, the ghetto kids, the mongrels, and the Taliban's. 
Hi, is um, Marizan here? How are you doing? You okay? You good? He lives with his mum, dad, a brother and a little sister. All right, after this pause, we just about to watch it all. I want to know, because how he said how it's like separated, how they had Americans on the block. What is it like there? Is it like what Americans, what they fight with, like a lot of people in that area? Let me know. Let me know. Hey, I'm not stopping it. No more times, all right? We just watching it. I might stop it. What's your name? My name is Safi. Safi. Oh, cool. How are you doing, Dad? You all right? Fine, fine, fine. Can I sit here? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Ah. What's this area like? Is it safe? Is it violent? It's violent. They now lay someone dead. And shot him dead. And shot him. I think you're on the corners because they're fighting each other, they're fighting each other. Are you in a gang? Yeah. Which gang are you in? Barta, local blood in, blood out. What is that? Barta, local blood in, blood out. Barta, local blood in, blood out. Varta, loco, blood in, blood out. The Varta Locals Damn, Marizan nigga, you were loving. is a kids' gang that he set up with his mates, chucking stones, copying what the real gangs do. Are you scared walking from school? I'm not scared. I was sh shot two times. And was, yeah, I'm not, now I'm not scared anymore. You got shot two times? One, two. So what What happened? Why did? Why were you shot? Because we did fight and they said, so the cops, they can't shoot so them. He was hit with rubber bullets fired at gangsters who were fighting in the street. Oh, rubber bullets. Who, who, who did that to you? One of the children, yeah, when we fight so on each other. Like every day, this is the size of scissors. But we're walking with, like this. If we catch you off the school, then I will take a child and we stab you. But you could, you could kill somebody with those scissors. I know how to stab you. No, I am, I'm sure you know how to stab me, but what I'm saying to you is um, you could end up killing uh, somebody. I can kill someone with a... He's, he's a children, but my cow will play in the restaurant. Marizan's gang might just be chucking stones at other kids, but I've heard this often leads to joining a proper gang. That's the thing about Marazan, it's glamorizing it. This is part of their life here, you know, the violence is absolutely knitted into their life. You got kids here playing football. A few hours ago, somebody got shot, and you got the military police here, just surrounded by curious kids. But this is, this is life in the flats. The army were deployed to the flats last month after 43 people were murdered in a single weekend. There are so many weapons on the streets here. Three years ago, a crooked cop was sent down for selling nearly 2,500 stolen guns into the flats. I've heard the gang shooters are getting younger and younger. I'm heading to meet one who started shooting when he was just 15. How are you doing? You right? Have you ever killed anyone in these shootings? Do we want to do what this? No one does it. Do we want to skip this? I'm not supposed to make class service, man. Do when to go bring stuff up? No, I'm not to. But you know, before before stuff up, I'm not supposed to make enemy. How old were they? The 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 ghettos that you shot? The one was I'm 16 at that time. He didn't know I was one of the Americans, but I did know was a ghetto, so I talked to him, so when he turned his back on me, so I shot him one, one time through his head, and four times he shot him also through his head. How young were the people who were being used as shooters in the gangs? 13, 14, 15, up Do you think you could ever leave the gang? I know. As you can get on, I lost now. That I missed not once, so I'm able to watch it. Is this Marizan's future? Back in his neighborhood, I spot him out playing with his mates. Where's your other shoe? Hello. What's he doing at home? Hello. See you, Johnny. See you, every day. What? Every day you see me with this Would you? Yeah, I know it's going to be sore, mate. You need both your shoes. Yep, my 
It's scary to think Marazan might stab someone if provoked. I track down his mum at work to ask what's behind his aggression. Eight years ago from now, I was a drug addict, you see, and I was using drugs. Now, maybe that is my aggressiveness coming in by my kids. My Marazan is throwing stones to each other, whatever. What drugs were you using? Uh, the metal, what is a metal? Crystal meth? Yeah, crystal, crystal meth, oh. yeah. Are you worried about his future? Because he's a very smart boy, and you know these, there's a lot of big gangs around here, and they'd want somebody like him. Yeah, I do. That's why I went around to those I know. I told him I don't want this for my child. And if I miss with my children, I won't come to him. I've heard a former general of the Mongols gang might talk to me. I'm hoping he'll tell me why such young kids are joining the gangs. OK, just give me a second, guys. Our contact is a pastor. He's told me he can set this up. Let's see what the pastor can do. An hour later, we're filming again. The general says he's being harassed by the police and rival gangs, and he wants to hide where he is. Where can we? Where can we do this? Where can we talk? Why do the gangs choose children? The gangs don't choose the children. In the Cape Coast, there's nothing for the kids to do. They don't get pro proper attention at home. There's nothing. So for the, the children, the besties, they ran to the gangsters and became gang members. Child, he, he needs security in his life. He wants his life to be secure. Then he goes to the gangs. Then he feels secure there, and then he go pa 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 pa, and he's proud about it. He said, "There's no, there's zero dreams for people. You know, if that's all you're surrounded by and that's all you aim towards, that's what you're going to end up being." Hold on, cuz. Did you see what was on his wall? It was stuff that, what, they said, like, crime doesn't pay and all that? That's kind of crazy right there. Let me go back just a little bit, because I just found that kind of, kind of found out a little different right there. What, he got drugs don't kill, crime doesn't pay, stop women and child abuse? That's, like, real talk, but what to, I don't, he can't be, nah, he ain't the head of the gang. Nah, hell nah, he ain't. Cause that seemed a little too weird right there. Oh. Why do the gangs choose children? The gangs don't choose the children. In the Cape Coast, there's nothing for the kids to do. They don't get pro proper attention at home. There's nothing. So for the, the children, the besties, they ran to the gangsters and became gang members. Child, he, he needs security in his life. He wants his life to be secure. Then he goes to the gangs. Then he feels secure there. And then he goes, pa, 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 pa. And he's proud about it. Yeah, hell no. Nah. He, ain't, he ain't one of the gang members. Unless he is, then damn. That's a positive no, ass spot. There's zero dreams for people. You know, if that's all you're surrounded by and that's all you aim towards, that's what you're going to end up being. I've come back to see Marazan. Hello, how are you doing? You all right? You good? You good? Dad, what's this here? It's the same number. The upper land was emotional, a rough day in night. So. Dad tells me he's not in a gang now, but is his past influencing his son? Marazan, where are you? This way you sleep. Uh, how do I get in here? Hey, do y'all think he's bullshit? Do you 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 think he's bullshit?
one. Which one? This is yours, and that's your brother's. What happens here at night? People shoot. No, no, like in the house. What's life like in the house? Not so much. What's that? Not so. My daddy did. Your daddy what? My daddy did. Smoke that smoke. Sometimes you know. Stop snitching! That's my lunch. That's your lunch. <laughs> Got an apple as a lunch? Got it. This is sad. <sighs> Dad, can I just ask about what he's been saying? What are you smoking? I'm smoking heroin. You see how he said that just like it's nothing? I'm smoking heroin. It's like, wait, he's like, he said it like he's smoking a cigarette or something. Not even like he was smoking weed. That was easy. All that stuff. Matter what he do, he stole my daddy. Like, I can change everything of me, but not my family. That's the thing. This is sad, man. I'm beginning to get just how much drugs and violence dominate Marazan's life. But most of the shootings take place at night. Just how bad does this place get? Very lucky enough to stay at um, a house of Mr. Abrahams. He's a very well respected guy who's living in the area for about 45 years, so we can see exactly what life is like in Cape Flats on Friday night. Okay, here we are. This is where we stay, isn't it? So, where, where's Dangerous here? On this field. On this field? Because if you look here, this is where this side the Americans shoot from. And if you look that side, that is the area that the ghettos is coming from. That, that, that's the problem. There, look. They're hiding now. So they were just chucking stones at them. Yeah. That's how it started, yeah. These are all primary school kids. Mm. Now, if they all attend this school. Then what happened? Is it, yeah. Did you hear a shot? Yeah, that's that side. expect these people here to be retaliating. Yes, that is the gangsters here. They shoot every night. There's no police around, but the army turn up. I'm told the Americans have crossed into ghetto kids' territory and started shooting at them. Oh. Mr. Abrams wants to check if anyone's been hurt. So we're heading into the ghetto's turf. But you see them all now uh, being restless and, 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 and being on, on guard. Yeah. There is that. I mean. Where are you going? We're going for a drive. For a drive with the camera. Yeah. The soldiers are not from the flats, so they don't know their way around. They think they had so they are, they... This is now the heart of the ghettos. Even after the shooting, there's lots of young kids still out on the street. This one. What, what was he doing with that flamethrower? If they would rob you and then they like almost like yay. They're the shooters. They're part of the shooters, yeah. How do you know they're the shooters? I know them. And 
this create this side. Yeah. And you find the other gun. Aubrey, yeah. Okay. Loitering on this side. And the army was standing here. Yeah, they got here pretty quickly, so they were here. They were here, yeah. Okay. You see? This is the problem. That a police van. Yes, yeah, yeah. But it's parked here. There's two police, there's three yeah. police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a problem. You see the problem? Mr. Abrahams then tells me something I've heard a lot from the coloured communities here. So why did the military go in without the police? Now, this is the thing. Because it's heavy uh, ammunition, the police won't. Because if the army leave them, they are lonely. Mm. And that is heavy guns. But the thing is, you can, I, I don't know, can, can you understand it from their point of view? Because it's, you know, machine guns and, you know, but they are supposed yeah. to respond to that, aren't they? Yeah, you see, in, 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 the, in the Western Cape, this black policeman won't risk their lives to a coloured. This is coloured. Are you serious? A, yeah. a black policeman won't go into a coloured area? Yeah. We asked the police if this was true. They said that they provide a statutory response to gunfire in all neighbourhoods. It's been a violent weekend. Even though the army's here, 47 people were killed across... Bro, I hope you guys are still watching this. Please, I hope you are. I got a lot to say after it's over. It flats. It's just too easy to say that the gangs are the bad guys. Kids come from broken homes. Mum and dad are doing drugs. They're dodging bullets at school. And then the gangs turn up. They give you a gun. That's your future. There was a lot of shooting last night around here. Did you hear that? Yes. Inside yes. their ways, Moby's working. The, the life that you had, you don't want that life for him? Because, you know, that's not a, a, a nice life. Kinders, I had to do it now, so it's free, man. So, see, on the day, there was a, 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 a scene that 13 years old, most do it to skip around. Every night, we pray, like you should pray, we pray. And I was, why, why, shit, yo. Let's just sit there, go on. I tell my daddy, we stop tracking. I will also stop throwing stones. You should understand what I go through. It's not nice. Because my, my, my secret, what I want to talk with no one, they will never understand it. Because my mom did tell me, I must keep my secret. And my secret is, I want to put my mom in a better place. Because my mommy, I don't know, she's the closest one, Yummy, and that's why we don't know when, when is it the time, because I can't handle all the stuff at home. And then how I become throwing stones and all this stuff, and becoming a Christian, and all that stuff, I can't handle it. That's my side of my lifestyle. I was worried that you were going to end up in a gang. I can't because my mommy, she, she's the one. But thank you, thank you very much. Um, take care of the family, right? <laughs> Two weeks after we leave, a six-year-old girl was killed in the crossfire of a gang shootout in the Cape Flats. All right. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Let me know if you guys... If you guys know anybody that's been through stuff like that, it kind of shocked me how the kids started crying at the end. Like, that shocked me. Like, how he started crying at the end, that, that shocked me, you know? 
but um, it's crazy what his dad, how he just smoked heroin. He may have sound like it was a cigarette or something, you know, but it's the hood though. That's what it comes out to be. You know, it's just the hood. It's all over, man. There's different hoods all over the world, you know? That's sad though. Let me know what's the Americans in the ghettos. Like I'm, I'm very curious about that. Like they said, when there goes the Americans and then there goes the ghettos and all that. What is that? Let me know how you guys feel about this um, documentary. This was deep. It was real emotional too, and I really liked it. I really liked it. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I hope. A lot of you guys watched it all, most of it, man, because I really think this was a good one. And I'm happy that I did a review to this, even though it was kind of long. But I'm happy I was able to watch this and give a review. So, all right, y'all, we about it here.